what's up guys uh, i just want to make a quick video of my car because uh on my other video about the texan wire wheels a couple people commented it uh wanting to see the car that i put them on so i thought i'd just make a quick video uh this is a 84 Oldsmobile 98 regency two-door coupe um it's got 112,000 miles i've had this car about two years um it's pretty clean to me, I need the paint job, but a lot of people say leave it alone, but it's just little things here and there that I would like to see it repainted the same color and everything and leave the stripe. But uh, the inside's red. It's got the red pin strip. Interior's clean. Headliner's clean. I think it's been replaced though. Um, I made a center console for it because I didn't want to cut up the dash for the radio. But uh, the, I wish the uh, vinyl matched a little better. On it. When I ordered it, I ordered it off Z Amazon. The picture, it said dark cherry. And the picture looked, you know, exactly like the color up on the dash. But uh, when I got it, it was a little bit lighter. But I was trying to get the car ready to go to uh, Midwest Fest in Indianapolis. So I just went ahead and wrapped the console. Um but making the console was an endeavor in itself. Uh, it was not fun, but it looks all right for what it is. I put the cup holders in it. It's nice having cup holders because uh, I drink a lot of Mountain Dew, you know. Um, when I got the car, I got it in Wisconsin um, from an older man. Um, it was his brother's car. His brother passed away. He had the car for a little while and he sold it. Um, it, when I got the car, it didn't really run that good, but I did, drove it back four hours from Wisconsin anyways, um, and it made it back, but I I was having a fuel issue. I replaced the fuel pump. I went through and replaced the cooling system, the radiator, the water pump. Um, it had, you know, these cars have a computer-controlled carburetor. They call it the CCC. It's like computer command computer command control or something like that but uh i couldn't get it running right so i swapped the carburetor over to a quadra jet from a 77 oldsmobile and then i switched the distributor to a regular vacuum distributor because on the ccc cars the dis the timing advance is controlled by the computer but when I got rid of all that, it disables the computer. So then you don't have any more lockup for your overdrive. So I put this B&M lockup controller on to cycle the lock in. Um, and it runs pretty good on the highway. I drove it all the way down to Midwest Fest. I made it like that was my goal when I got the car was to get it together for Midwest Fest. Um, and it made it down there no problem. It rides good. The wheels ride good um i don't know they i get a little bit of vibration at like around 60 but i think it's more so the balance that i had done because it took me a long time to find a shop that would balance the wheels a lot of people said they couldn't do it and then the people that did do it i don't know if they did it right because the wheel is a lug centric wheel because it's a unilug just like the old kragers so when they cone it up on the balancer they balance it off the center of the hub but that's not how the wheel rides the wheel is is a lug centric wheel so it spins off the you know the center line of the lugs which is they're the lug holes are oval so i had some hub centric rings made uh from hubcentricrings.com i had them custom made to the size for the wheel so that when you put the wheel on the car it lines it up to the center line of the hub and it it rode, it rides good there's like i said there's a little bit of vibration but i think that if i took it to a right shop like a rim shop that does you know custom wheels and stuff i think they could balance it better uh, i live in indiana so there's not a whole lot of people that uh, do rims like that out here i'm gonna have to go to chicago i think um you know it, it's not in perfect shape but it's a pretty clean car it looks good i get a lot of compliments on it um there is this spot on the bumper which i have another car i had this car first i've had this car for since i was like 19 years old 
and uh, I found a really clean bumper back bumper for it and I'm thinking about taking the bumper off this car and putting it out of that car but I just can't bring myself to uh, to do it um, this car is all right I mean it's got some faded paint it's only got 88,000 miles I believe um, it had 30 spokes on it when I got it I got it from the original owner um, it came this car came out of Chicago and he had put 30 spokes on it like the day after he got it so it was riding around on 30s and the 80s um, but those wheels eventually broke and I got these uh, I sandblasted and redid these uh 15 inch rallies for it which they're really dirty right now i feel bad i leave this car sitting outside because uh, my garage is kind of small i had i had it inside for a while and then my girlfriend got this old school jeep so i put this jeep in the garage for a little while and had this under a cover but i think i'm gonna put the delta 88 into storage but this jeep is clean as a motherfucker dude it's a two-wheel drive though but it's clean it's a clean car but i like the oldsmobiles that's what i ride um shout out shy town classics i started rolling with them i just joined their club not too long ago bunch of good guys all ride old school cars on the 30 spokes but i just want to make a quick video of my car since some people asked to see it um like I said, I got these in the other video. I said I got these wheels from uh, at Big Lee 84 Slanga on Instagram. Great business. I, they came super fast, faster than Amazon. Um, but yeah, this is my car.